Ha <laughs> ha! The loudest bang is a click. You're out of luck, Ranger. <laughs> out of ammo. Not options. Device armed. Nuclear huh? detonation what do you say? imminent. Oh, shit. <laughs> I suggest you find a god and start praying. For the last hundred years or so, one company has stood at the cutting edge of portable tactical nuclear innovation, Ares Atomic Solutions. We proudly present the M575 Special Atomic Demolition Munition, or as I like to call it, the Redeemer. In the face of overwhelming odds, the Redeemer stands as a beacon of hope. If victory seems out of reach, just remember our motto. I may not win, but they can still lose. Device armed. Nuclear detonation imminent. Well, howdy, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, you can click away now. Everything after this point is going to be just behind the scenes, bloopers, and stuff like that. So if you're not interested in that, you can take your leave. I won't hold it against you, and I'll see you in the next one. If you're still here, let's get into it. So this started as a project for my college video class. We had to make a 30-second commercial for a product. I came up with this idea to do a commercial for a mini nuke but there is no way that it would work in 30 seconds, so I just kind of put it on a shelf. I've been hanging out with the Wild Wasteland Studio guys, and they're starting a new thing called the Deadpool and Bob Show. It's going to be a variety show, kind of like the old Adult Swim late night stuff, where it's going to be interviews, skits, and stuff like that. Part of the idea behind doing these skits is not just to make skits for the sake of making content, but actually to practice different filmmaking techniques. We're doing the skits almost like pilot episodes in a way, kind of practicing ideas, just tossing things out there, seeing what works, what doesn't work, just experimenting. And the idea is that we can use these to get better so that when we do longer form videos, we'll have a little bit more in our toolbox to kind of work with and make them look, you know, a little bit better. So. This idea I brought up as a potential skit, and the guys were all about it. So we got together over a weekend, filmed this in, I think we did it in about three hours or thereabout, and it was a great time. I love working with these guys. Anytime I do stuff with Wild Wasteland, it's fun because it's collaborative. It's not like a dictatorship when we're doing stuff on set or anything like that. Like Everybody has a voice. Everybody's opinion is valid. We'll very often people throw out an idea of, you know, what if we did it this way? What if we tried this? What if we tried that? And the answer is always, yeah, what if we did? And we'll film it. And then we'll take all the stuff at the end and we'll review it and decide, you know, what works and what doesn't. But everybody's idea has merit. And it's really cool to be a part of something like that. Now, when we did the Fallout Wacky Wasteland series, I came into it as the prop guy, and then I kind of became a stand-in actor and then became a little bit more of a larger role in the production as uh, the ranger. So Wacky Wasteland was all Wild Wasteland Studios' idea. That was completely their concept. They wrote everything. I just made the props for it. Now, on set, I may have helped. I may have tweaked some scenes or offered some ideas, but all the writing was them. So this was a very cool, very different experience for me because I wrote everything. I wrote the story, I made the storyboards, and then because it was all my concept, when we filmed it, I did the directing. I've never directed anything before. So that was a really cool experience. And they worked alongside me, we tried stuff, we figured out what worked and what didn't work, and then I did all the editing and I made the video that you just watched go from concept to fully fledged video, I enjoyed the whole process of making it. 
and uh, the mini nuke that we use, which let me clarify something real quick. Uh, I did wear a Fallout costume. This is being used as a mini nuke. This has no relation to Fallout. It is not canonical to the Wacky Wasteland story that we are working on. This is a completely standalone, isolated video that is just for fun. The reason that we did Fallout is because with the mini nuke, it seemed to be the most adjacent thing that would make sense. The Ranger cosplay is my most mobile cosplay that I have, and I needed to do a lot of mobility and stuff for the action sequences, so it kind of won as being the outfit that I was going to wear. I mean, we could have done this in just plain clothes, but where would be the fun in that? So, like I said, it's not related to anything. It's its own standalone thing. I'm sure there's going to be people that don't watch this that are going to comment and be like, that's not how the mini nuke in Fallout looks. The mini nukes aren't made by Ares Atomic Solutions, which Ares Atomic Solutions I completely made up. The logo that you see for uh, Ares Atomic Solutions was actually created for my computer graphics class. We had to do a project where we redesigned a logo for a local business. I chose Atomic Comics and I made that logo and then I just changed the words from Atomic Comics to Ares Atomic Solutions, but that's where the logo came from. This was really just using stuff that we had on hand and just seeing what we could do with it, which is where this comes into play. If you watch the Fallout series, this does make a brief appearance in the armory sequence during episode two. And all that happens is I take it off a shelf, I open it, look at it, put it back. This thing itself is actually a lantern that I got at Harbor Freight. Uh, I used some green paint that I watered down and put in multiple layers on the inside because it's, it's not a green light. This is a regular white flashlight that I just tinted. So I thought this was the perfect prop to use. So all in all, man, it was a very fun experience. And you're going to see more videos like this. So essentially the way that we're doing it is when it's an idea like this that I did like the writing and stuff on, um, we're going to make it so that we put it in the Deadpool and Bob show, but then I'm also separately going to post them on my channel. So you can see both. You can see it on my channel, but also I highly recommend you check out Wild Wasteland Studio and see the other stuff that they did and you know watch the uh, Deadpool and Bob show. I just wanted to throw a couple of those things out there, talk about some stuff. So I think we're going to call the video right here. And uh, as a thank you for sticking around, here's some bloopers. Or as we like to call it, fuck. I am rolling. Okay. Positions, everybody. Get a little closer in, guys. Just a little closer. Ooh, she's not dead here. You need to come back this way. I should probably get that in here for continuity. Action. Fuck. <laughs> And then uh, um, the line. The line. Are rolling. Action. <laughs> Loudest bang is your click, Ranger. You gotta look. Uh, I'm stopping. Oh, shit. What'd he say? Oh, damn.